Good evening, everybody. It's been one of the most controversial projects in Cincinnati history, and for years, people lined up on both sides of the streetcar issue. Now, proponents say that it will spark economic development, but opponents say it's just too expensive. Local 12's Larry Davis is live and over the Rhine, where the first streetcar vehicle is set to show up at any minute. And Larry, we've been getting progress reports. People saw it in Westchester. They saw it in Avondale. Is it there yet? Not here yet, but I can tell you that it's right around the corner virtually. Uh, that streetcar should be making its way north on Ray Street here. It should be arriving in just a few minutes from now. It was supposed to be here at 4 o'clock, but uh, some heavy traffic in Columbus held it up. As you can see uh, here along the streets here on Ray Street, a lot of people showing up to uh, witness the arrival of the first streetcars who be in Cincinnati in a number of years. Now, even though it hasn't hit the tracks just yet, some advocates are wanting more. The last time a streetcar rode the streets of Cincinnati was 1951. Today, 64 years later, the first of five new era streetcars arrives in town. Streetcar advocate John Schneider says it won't be long before Cincinnatians will be wanting more. Once they see it and, and, be, and they're on the trains, they see the economic development which is happening you know, all around here now, uh, they want more of it. The streetcar starts taking passengers through downtown and over the Rhine next fall. But once the cars get rolling, Schneider says the city needs to consider expanding the route to Uptown and the University of Cincinnati. We think that trip would be somewhere like 11 minutes from the University of Cincinnati to Fountain Square. Much faster than driving and parking your car. We think if that happened, it would have tremendous benefits for the city. Instead of taking the rail of Vine Street to UC, Schneider wants to build a tunnel into Mount Auburn, beginning here in the area of Clifton and Mulberry. He says a tunnel will be a time saver. He also sees light rail expanding into other neighborhoods. You're going to have to look at all the time that's saved by all those regional commuters if we do extend it beyond UC. Over, you know, these systems last 100 years. I mean, that's a big number. Schneider has heard the skeptics saying the streetcar is unnecessary and too expensive, but he remains confident it's the next big thing for now and beyond. This is a good thing for Cincinnati, and I think most Cincinnatians will agree once it starts operating. And Cammy, here it comes. For the first time in 64 years, a streetcar is arriving on the streets of Cincinnati. Uh, there's an oversized load truck uh, uh, escorting it in here, and then you got the tractor trailer, which is hauling the streetcar uh, on its bed, and it is moving north now on Race Street and arriving now in Cincinnati. A little bit late, but uh, better late than ever, I guess a lot of people would say. Yeah, and Larry, uh, give us a sense of what's happening around there. It looks like there are quite a few people who have shown up to welcome it. There are a lot of people across the street. I, I, I would estimate probably 100 people here and maybe another uh, 50 to 75 on other sides of the street here. But a lot of people are excited about this. As a matter of fact, we talked to a gentleman, a 92-year-old man who uh, rode the last streetcar in 1951, and we'll be hearing from him coming up in the news at 6, 6 o'clock. But right now, you can see the streetcar is uh, pulling up. It's actually straddling the tracks, which it will be uh, uh, riding on once it uh, hits the streets. Uh, it's a long way away yet, but a lot of testing has to be done, a lot of uh, uh, work uh, has to be done to, to get it ready, but uh, they're forecasting the uh, first streetcar to start moving with passengers in September. Yeah, and given the size of it, you know, what we're seeing here in the pictures, it's no wonder that it went so slowly and, you know, took so long. Yeah, that's a pretty big load. That's an oversized load, to say the least. Uh, but that's, uh, that, you know, those, those cars, uh, those hold 154 people. So, uh, uh, you know, there, there's a lot of people that can, uh, can fit on that, uh, that streetcar, but uh, there are four more of those to come, and there will be one uh, arriving uh, every month between now and February. So uh, there will be more scenes like this as we, uh, as we move on down the road here. All right. Well, Larry, thank you for showing us the arrival of it uh, live on television. We're going to check back in with you a little bit later, maybe see him unloading it. And thanks for the report. And by the All way, right. the streetcar that just arrived will get its first trial run on November 8th. By mid-November, they will test it on its own power. And there will be a lot more testing before, of course, the first passengers hop on board.